Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about forms in Microsoft Access. Now open your Microsoft Access uh, program. I'm going to create a, a, plan, a new database. Let me name it form. Tutorial. Open this interface. Now the default, it will open in a, a new table by default. Now to generate a form you have to have a table now let let us create a sample table in the last tutorial I, I taught you how to create a table now let's move to design view let's name the table and for example tutorial and then click OK now we're going to use some a few fields for example name of student I'm going to use the short text data type and then <coughs> class class also short text now let's save our table and return to the to the data sheet view now this is the form that we've created now the next step is to create a, a form now move to create create tab now there are, there are many options that are available for creating forms the first one is create a form it automatically creates a form form design where you manually create your own form in the design view the third one is a blank form which gives you a completely blank form which you can customize the way you want and then the one that we're going to use is the form wizard now the form wizard gives you a step-by-step -step procedure it allows you to select the the color the <coughs> field that you want to add in the in the form now we're going to use this one click form wizard and then if it prompts you something like this just click open now it will bring up a prompt like this now this option is used to add only one field from the available fields to the selected fields you see but th this option here adds all fields from this from available fields to selected fields now I'm going to use the second one which adds all fields then go to next now a form can either be tabular columnar datasheet form or justified in this case we're going to use columnar form move to next and then now you can name you can modify the name which let's say tutorial form form and then click finish it's going to load a bit okay now we've created our form which is called tutorial form it has the name of the student and the class the <coughs> which are the fields that we entered in our table now we can customize our form in very many different ways because forms are primarily for entering data now we need to to enter control buttons which can be used to enter data uh, add a record delete a record modify a record now to do that just uh, come to the home tab right here and then move to the design view now here in the design view it shows the design of the form now you can just adjust the size of this uh, of these windows now to add a button for control move to the design tab this button right here which is which is also called the button click on the button move to the bottom and then drag just to drag now it will bring a command button wizard which has a <coughs> quite many operations which you can select from now now we're going to use the record operation which is the second one which it has also like uh, six uh, different operations the first one we're going to add is the add new record select the one go to next use, don't use the picture use the text one which is the add uh, record go to next and then finish now we've added a button for adding a new record let's add another button uh, 
like that F- record operation for example delete record go to next click on the text next and then finish now after that let's also add another one record operation for example we want to print a certain record go to next text next and then finish you can adjust them so that they can be in a straight line and then let's add another one let's add, add another one record operation save record next the text one next and then finish now we've added all these uh, records all these navigation buttons now we can also format the table to our liking you can move the title of the form you can move to the format you can bold it you can change the 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 color i've changed it to black you can also the ch- change the color of these field names to also black now all of them have become black okay now you can move you can move back to the to the form view now <coughs> in the form view the buttons that i've ad- I added are right here now you can you can click add record then you can you can type for example let's say caleb caleb is the name of the student the student is in in grade five grade or class five then you click add record let me add another record the name of the student is let's say brian is in class in is in class seven or grade seven click add record and then let, let's add another one alvin is in class six or grade six and then click add record now these records that we've, da- we've added will reflect in the table in the tutorial table but you have to close it and then open it again it's right here and then open it now the data that we entered has reflected right here let let's add another record for clarity now we can use the name of students such as Jacqueline Jacqueline and class you can use uh, class 7 then you can add record now after closing the after closing the table and opening open it again this record has already reflected now it's quite quite an easy way to add and add records in the table instead of using the table itself now something else I want to to go through is uh, adding a background image to your to your form. Now adding a background image will make the form more more visually impressive, or uh, it will make it will just make it better overall because it will it will look better. Now, move to the format tab. There's an option for background image. Now click browse to where for example you may have uh, some pictures some few pictures for example for example this spotlight I've downloaded some images click on the image that uh, that you wish to put as a background image and then click OK now the image will automatically be set as the background image now you move to the design into the form view you can see the image has been added as the background image and it has become more presentable now that's all for this video hope you liked it if you liked it consider uh, subscribing to our channel and leave a like for the algorithm have a good day keep my head up when i act head up that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on 
feel I don't belong Tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best Die with no regrets Live with every breath See my message start to spread And I had so many dreams Then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems Try to find it